Hey, what's up everybody? Matt Austin here. And you know, the other day, I was driving in the car, driving down the store, get a little something to eat, a little bit of beef jerky action. Oh yeah! And, uh, you know, I left my phone at the house, and I keep all my music on the phone. I just kind of like go off my iTunes and just listen to stuff I like. I never really listen to the radio. You but, uh, suck! Yeah, just, I, I had to listen to the radio because it didn't my phone. So I put on the local rock station, and I, I switched over to it, and I caught like the last 30 seconds of the song that we're going to check out today, and I was like, oh my god, it sounds just like Chester from Lincoln Park. Uh, I mean, just like him. And I was sitting there, and I was like, god, who is this guy? And at the end, you know, the DJ said, uh, blah, 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 from Grey Days. I was like, okay. So I kept that in the back of my mind, got home. I looked up Grey Days, and turns out it was Chester the whole time. It actually was Chester. It was the band he had before Linkin Park. So I was like, oh, hell yeah. Had to check it out. But, of course, I had to share it with you guys. So here we are. We're going to check it out. We're going to see what it's all about. Uh, I was kind of digging up a little bit. I think they're re-releasing -re -re some of that music. That's why it was on uh, the radio station. And uh, I just, I kind of look at it as like fate, maybe. Like, I never listen to the radio. I, I don't know the new stuff that's out. I probably should. And then, uh, I mean, I listen, to, I listen to like White Zombie and Pantera from Yay! 25 years ago. I, I ain't really up on a lot of the new stuff unless you guys share it with me. But anyways, so yeah, I, I kind of thought it was fate. Like, all right, maybe I'm supposed to hear this. So we'll check it out. It's a song called Sickness. Oh, hey. It's new to me. And maybe it's new to other people. But, of course, it's old. Uh, it's got to be over 20 years old before Linkin Park, so there we go. I don't know if he's a teenager when he put it out. Maybe in his 20s, not sure, but we'll check it out. But it sounded just like him, that's all I know. So anyways, what we're going to do, we're going to put our little, what? my little earbuds in. You're stupid. Let's check it out. Let's not waste any time. Great A's, sickness, oh hell yeah. Push and play.
There we go. Gray days, sickness. Oh my God. Damn. Sounds so good to hear some new Chester. Damn, that about made me tear up right Aww. there, man. I missed the hell of that guy. And uh, yeah, of course I was a huge Linkin Park fan. Uh, when when I first heard One Step Close to the Edge, I was about to break. I was about to break some shit. Loved it so much. Went about got Hybrid Theory. Went on to their other albums and all that. But man, that first CD, every song on it, good lord, so damn good. Damn. And there we go, Gray Days. I'm not sure if that's the original track, if maybe they took his voice and put on something else. Not sure, I'll have to look into that. But it sounds so awesome. So good to hear Chester. And uh, yeah, it kind of had like a, a Queen of the Dam feel a little bit. Yeah. kind of heard a little bit. Uh, of course, Chester was on the Queen of the Dam soundtrack. Why won't you die? Holy shit. One of the best soundtracks of all time. Woo! Uh, you can't beat that. I mean, some of the, uh, yeah, Marilyn Manson, yeah, Jay from Orgy, David from Disturbed. Wow. Uh, it's so damn good. It sucks Jonathan couldn't have been on that soundtrack, but he found some damn good uh, vocalists to fill in for him. Always loved it. Still play it all the time. Yeah, that could have fit in right there. That could have been an old the Vampire Lestat singing. Yeah. Who knows? But yeah, that was awesome. Uh, it's cool they put a little footage. It looked like older Chester footage. Uh, that looked like he had long hair in there, so that's cool they uh, spliced that in there. But yeah, it was awesome. I loved it. Glad I caught the tail end of it the other day and now I get to hear the whole thing. It's badass. And uh, yeah, that's why I sound like Chester. Because it was Chester. Yay! <laughs> so, damn, I got a good ear. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, sickness, gray days. Uh, not just because I love it, but also just to hear, good to hear Chester again. We're giving it... Five cold beers out of five cold beers. Oh, hell yeah. Badass song. I uh, loved every second of it. And yeah, I'm going to have to check out their other stuff. Uh, check, I, like I said, I never knew they existed. So <laughs> there we go. We'll check it out. And uh, yeah, if y'all got any more, like maybe other stuff Chester's been on, maybe I don't know, or whatever, let me know. I'd love to get into it. I, I know all Linkin Park stuff, but hell, stuff like this is pretty cool. But anyways... Thanks for stopping by. Hell sub the channel for feel like it. Uh, got a lot more reactions coming. Oh, I've been doing them all day and I'm going to keep it going. Uh, we got rock. We got a little bit of everything coming. Metal. Uh, a few surprises. I'll, you'll, you'll see them when they show up. But anyways, uh, if you got a request of your own, something you'd like me to check out, maybe I never heard before, hell, I'll leave a link to my PayPal in the description. Come, leave me whatever you feel like leaving. I'll get in here, we'll react to it, we'll rock out, we'll party, hopefully it rocks. Yeah, we'll just have a damn good time. That's what it's all about. And yeah, man, rest in peace, Chester. You know, I love you. Uh, always Doug Linkin Park, always loved your voice. One of the best voices in rock. And that, that just shows, even in your younger years, you always had it. So there we go, man. Love you, rest in peace, and we miss you. Anyways, thanks for stopping by, guys. Hell, I'll catch you on down the road. And that's the bottom line, because Matt Austin said so.